welcome to November. So since this is the month of Thanksgiving, we are going to do a gratitude type of focus reading. Um, so number one, what are the general blessings that we're harvesting this month? Number two, what do I need to be grateful for in regards to health? career, finances, relationships, and then further um, from relationships, like how can I better express gratitude to others in my life? Um, we're going to look at what we should be thankful for in our love relationships or, you know, on our journey to finding those. And then how do I better express, you know, gratitude there as well? Um, looking at our spiritual and personal development path, what are the areas of um, thanks that we should be giving? there and then how do I better express gratitude to myself because you know hashtag self-care um, so this is gonna be a longer reading than usual for November but let's get started <laughs> Pisces okay so in November um, what are the general blessings that are coming your way and they say that um, the blessing is that the past is not representative of what's coming in the future. So just because you might have had a negative experience somewhere doesn't mean that that's going to be the case again, even if it seems familiar. So what should you be grateful for in regards to your health? They're saying um, longevity here. Like... Um, all of the things that are currently working in your body should continue to work um, in your body. I mean, that's... a that's a good thing. Um, basically, what they're saying is, for the most part, like, they're looking ahead to the future. Most of you, I mean, this is a general reading, so it's hard to be super specific. But what they're saying is that most, the majority of you have, like, a long life ahead of you, so that's good. Um, time is on your side, essentially. What do you have to be grateful for in career? And... Um, First thing that they throw out is they want to talk about a challenge. The challenge is to find your enthusiasm and your excitement about your current career path um, because things are moving slowly for you. They're not going as quickly as you want them to, so it's hard to maintain any level of excitement. Um, but what they're saying is that your current path, you should feel strong in that. Um, you have some real strengths and talents and traits that are going to serve you well. So um, it's a little bit about needing to be patient. In regards to your finances, what is there to be grateful for? And they say good news is coming your way. Some positive action that another person is taking that you'll find out about and then that will benefit you somehow. So for example, maybe somebody says, hey, um, I'm leaving my entire estate to you um, when I die. And so maybe you don't feel the effects of it until they die, but it's some positive news coming your way because inevitably everybody at some point is going to die. Um, not that it'd be good that somebody died, but you know what I mean. Or, um, hey, just so you know, um, I invested your, maybe your parent says like, hey, I invested you, some of your childhood savings account into this specific stock and now it's like paying off huge and so I'm going to give you the dividends of that or whatever. But there's some sort of positive news coming your way um, about an action somebody else took that benefited you. So maybe that's even in the workplace. Somebody says, hey, um, I'm moving on to a different position but I want you to fill mine and it's a much higher salary. So what they're saying is change the way that you're looking at things, um, shifting your perspective a little bit so that you're open to receive those blessings. Now, what can you expect as far as what to be grateful for in non-romantic relationships? Um, what they're saying is that time, again, is on your side, that things change very slowly. Now, why is that a good thing in your relationships? And they say, because um, what's happening here is that you've learned some lessons in certain relationships, and that's going to make them better, okay? Um, but it's a slow process, and that's a good thing because sometimes change is hard or difficult, even if it's the right thing. Um, how can you better express gratitude to people in your life in this month. And they say, um, well, every moment, every second is a choice. So the second that you think about somebody, it only takes like five seconds to send them a text message and say, just thinking about you, smiley face, right? Um, little things like that are going to make a huge impact. Now, as far as your love life goes, if you're single, what can you be thankful for this month? 
and they say that everything is as, exactly as it's supposed to be. Positive changes are coming, but the fact that your life might seem a little bit boring or humdrum, like you know what to expect, means it's comfortable, which means that anybody coming into your life right now isn't going to create chaos. It'll just be the icing on the cake of your life. Now, um, if you are in a relationship, what can you be thankful for in this month? And they say, be thankful for um, the lies and deceptions that you've experienced historically, um, specifically in regards to like your long term fate uh, in your relationship. Like, are we going to get married? Like, how much money are we putting away? And things like that. Now, that seems counterintuitive. So, why is that the case? And they say, because sometimes um, lies that we're told, for example, when we're children, are for our highest good, they're for our benefit. Um, maybe your parents told you that the tooth fairy was real and um, that worked to your benefit, right? You got money under your pillow. Little things like that. Like everything's actually okay um, and everything is going to continue to be so. So when somebody's hiding something from you, maybe don't dig too deep this month. And the reason being is, you know, perhaps it's a surprise party for you and then you fuck it up when you dig too deep into it. It's that sort of an energy. It's not like malicious necessarily. Um, so how do you better express gratitude to your partner? And they're saying um, just overflowing with love for them, feeling that first and then wherever that takes you. So it's going to be different for every person. Um, what should you be thankful for in regards to your spirituality or your personal growth path? And what they're saying is um, you'll get a message, whether this is, um, it's going to come to everybody a little bit differently. Some of you, you'll um, really connect with a song. Some of you, maybe with one of these online tarot readings. Um, for some of you, it'll be a sign that you see, like maybe you see a certain animal or a certain number a lot of times. Um, and what they're doing is they're telling you what's not fitting in your life so that you can purge that or eliminate it. Um, so how do you better show yourself some gratitude. Do a little bit of self-care this month. And they're saying, well, we've got to work on our confidence. You're not 100% confident. And that's due to that um, aspect that we started with where they're saying, you know, history doesn't have to repeat itself. So what are you manifesting? And what they're saying is you have to be really honest with yourself and think about where is your focus? Because what we focus on expands. If I have a mindset that everybody is going to hurt me, then I for sure am going to enter into relationships in which everybody is going to hurt me. But if I shift my perspective and I say, you know what, just because I was hurt in the past doesn't mean that every person in my future is going to do that because I learned something from those experiences, then I will be attracting better people um, for my life that aren't going to hurt me, if that makes sense. Um, is there anything else that Pisces needs to know about November? And they just say, this month is all about communication and honesty, but it's about self-communication and being super honest with yourself. They're saying, um, for some of you, this is a soulmate connection month where you'll meet that important person, um, your life partner kind of relationship, but only if you're really, really strong and you're not going to be your strongest, best self if you're not being super honest with yourself and clearing away all the debris from your energy field that you need to, to be ready for that relationship. So I love you so much and I'll talk to you in December.